know that I'm joking, right? We're gonna be hard at work. We're hardly working. Find boards downstairs to patch window. What? Wait you didn't ex you, you didn't even think about getting all the boards before you decided to do it? How did you end up back there? Wow. Well, hey, Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? <laughs> because I'm horribly superficial. Oh, yeah. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. <laughs> Musk. Yeah, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. <laughs> yeah. Hot. Duh. Maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my God, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? <laughs> Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. Clothes. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones. Hop you know. over? Oh. I do. Hop now over that. Tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh. Hmm. Uh. Uh, pretty thick. Beard. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right. Since birth. <laughs> I came out looking like this. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You're what? Is is that okay? Uh. <laughs> don't don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. They look tired. I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> oh, speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? At least you're not calling me Hank anymore. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? Drink whiskey. What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Pour Actually, into your mug. Prepared for that task and, uh, or, yep, that you. works. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment Drink to the keeping bleach. this national forest safe from total destruction. Or not, just throw it across here. I am glad to hear you really <clears> thought this through. Hmm. <laughs> of course. Can't Maybe open the toolbox. You chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. <laughs> wooden and there's no padding. Whoa! I am awesome. Look at that. Whoa! <laughs> 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 Because I'm... The you are Smokey the Bear. Yeah, I'm Smokey the Bear. That's why you have a thick beard. I you don't even know forest it. fires. They're going to zoom out at the end, and that's going to be the big plot twist. You're Smokey the Bear. <laughs> oh, my cool-looking hat. And it's not a beard. It's a full-on body beard. <laughs> I came out looking like that bad boy. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Awesome. Peachy. Not too bad. You get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. Those are the two girls that... supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Oh, shit. Screwed. You're screwed. It's a coincidence. How many pairs of girls go backpacking? Probably a lot. Yeah, probably a lot. 
So I guess you didn't get their names then? Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? <laughs> uh, I, I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah, Let's get down. I'll, uh, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. Probably got a little pot on her. Enjoy the sunset. <clears throat> oh, I'll enjoy it, all right. What? What? Day fifteen. We might jump from day three to day fifteen. That's a big jump. The glasses are all. Oh broken. come on! Come on! It's still loading. Whoa, Love that's it. a big gap. Henry, wake up. Hello, lady in the walkie-talkie. Uh, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Hey. Hi, Jules. Oh, Jules. So tired. What? I am. Is that his wife? Are you having a nice time? Yep. Uh, I don't know. There's some weird it's stuff weird. going on. Oh, that's too bad. Mm, sure, it'll be fine. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. Uh oh. That was. Day what? 33! Oh, See? that's a lot of days! I think you're the one with dementia. You think so? I don't know. Well, when we've already seen it. Well, obviously, you said it. We don't want to already see it coming. All right. Well, thanks for is it too much pointing it out. To bring supplies all the way up to our towers. Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. Tree. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just you for hear you. my belly. Okay, other lookouts, biologists, a few people what? get their food there, and I Didn't don't you hear want my to belly? Go for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. Mm. My sister eats six prunes a day. Six. Ooh. She's like really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> well, that's nice. That she needs, you know, wheelbarrows of marijuana right. to function. Take a right. So, like, I'm going to... two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. What? You were sleeping, I guess, and. All I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. Okay, stop. Ma I hope you're doing that. okay, you know, when it comes to her. Up the rope. Hold on, I gotta reply. Ah, I gotta reply. I am. Good. I'm glad. Go up the rope, I right? said I shouldn't uh, be here. Look. Before I took this job, I <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. I want to climb, Jesus. <laughs> I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Waltz was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and... Yeah. Told my 
my sister, he fucked our neighbor. I that was just horrible. Lied about it for over ten years. Ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you, so you know there's something about me. We both fucked up. Where are you going? Right here. <clears throat> I I don't know what to say. One, two, three, four. I'm sorry. I'm distracted. She should have went with. Should have helped him. Oh yeah, can it? Yours. Well, I didn't mean to shut it. <laughs> All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Should just grab all of them. Yours, right? Who do you think I am? Sixty-four. Well, shit. See, I think this represents gaps in your memory. Hmm? Jumping around. Went to fifteen to thirty-three to sixty-four. Mm-hmm. No, she doesn't seem too concerned about him. Maybe Holy see. fire! Front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. What? It's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. What's up? I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up mm. with them. But why don't you do the honors? Uh, maybe the flapjack fire. fire. I would have so, called it Delilah. Name. You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. What's up? A camp cooking Not much. Okay. So this creek down the hill, and um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? Nope, I don't know what. What's that? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then I have something nice and cool to drink. Let's go towards the fire. Sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. <laughs> You'd like it there. I think we need margaritas. Aw, oh, I'm gonna flirt. If I was there with you, I'm... Sure, I would like it a lot. Boom. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, yep. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. You should. Let me know when you are. Hold on. I'm gonna go this way. I'm looking right at it. Up. Well, can't look at it from there. Oh, uh, well, son <clears> of a <throat> crack whore. <laughs> turn left. Turn left. Turn left. What? See? Oh. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. The sound of the crickets make me sleepy. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? <laughs> Son of a crackle. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yes. <laughs> I talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. She likes me. Same way. She likes me for my manly body beard. I'm not really available, but... I want you Jump. to know, well, maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... We don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm Hello I'm just I'm Victoria. A... I wish I was over there. Howdy. Oh, I got stuck in a bush. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk Fireflies. Without these radios. We could um <laughs> you know. <laughs> we could what, you know? She's lonely. What could we do? <laughs> Oh, Please geez. do. Please in indulge me. And then oh, it ended. What? <laughs> you She's thought gonna you were give me a little sex talk. At least I could do is listen in. Radio sex.
You perv. Sex. Sex radio. <coughs> it's alright that you're late. Not a big deal. We're on day 76. We keep jumping. We went from 15 to 33, Tell 64 me. to 76. Called it in the first video.